Janus is the god of beginnings and endings. He also represented the year's transitions from one season to another. Janus is the Roman god of time, duality, beginnings, and endings. This is the ancient Roman temple of Janus. In modern times, we recognize him as the god of doors and gates because both represent transitions. Ironically, when I did my research for the article I wrote, I found many door and window companies name themselves after Janus. Janus is often depicted in art as a two-headed representing beginnings and endings. Sometimes one side is a young man and the other side is an old man. Some consider Janus to be the first priest and the father of divination, titles he earned by his ability to see the past and look into the future. If you are interested in time travel or astral projection, Janus can help you work on those gifts. Fun fact, we often think the month of January is named after the god Janus, when in fact, according to Roman almanacs, it is named after the goddess Juno. While not a major god, he was closely linked with Jupiter. Janus was very important in the daily life of people. Camis, Jana, and Juturna were the wives of Janus. Janus was the father of Tiberius and Fontus. Interestingly, Janus does not have a Greek counterpart. He is uniquely Roman. The Greeks had a mythical two-headed dog named Orthus. However, he was a monster, not a god, and was killed by Hercules. Professor Donald Wasson, a professor at Lincoln College, says it is possible that Janus was a real person. According to legend, Janus immigrated from Greece to Rome, where he ruled alongside an early Roman king named Camusus. After Janus's exile from Thessaly, he arrived in Rome with his wife Camise and their children. He built a city on the west bank of the Tiber River called Janiculum. Janus can help you in your life. Honor Janus at new beginnings, such as the birth of a child, or when you start a new job. Janus can help you in any magic that helps you with new beginnings, as well as helping you escape from the burdens of your past. Call upon Janus before doing divination process practices. You can set up a dedicated altar for Janus if you have a big transition coming up, or you can set aside part of your daily altar for Janus. He appreciates offerings of dried bay laurel leaves, roasted lamb, pickled capers, wine, and pastries. Greet the morning by honoring Janus. Make an offering of a pastry or roll and say, Janus, I lift this food to you and put myself in your hands. I honor you at the beginning of this day and ask that you may favor me, my children, and our home or something that meets your current needs. We often celebrate Janus on New Year's Day. Janus does, after all, symbolize new beginnings. However, traditionally, his holiday was on the vernal equinox. It was a Roman tradition in the new year to make any offering of honey, cakes, incense, and wine. Another popular way to celebrate Janus is to eat a bowl of lentils on New Year's Day. This tradition symbolizes how life begins anew in the new year and also represents prosperity for the coming months ahead. Romans did not take off from work on this holiday because they felt it demonstrated laziness and was a bad omen for the start of the year. I hope this video has been informative for you. Please boop that like button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, have a very witchy day.